Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the HTC Radar Take Apart and Opening Guide. To begin the disassembly, remove the bottom back door cover from your phone. Next, you are going to remove four T5 screwdrivers on the bottom of your phone. Once again, these are T5 Torx screws. With the four screws removed, go ahead and take off the little plastic shield that covers the motherboard of your phone. Your next goal is to remove the back case housing. However, first you have to remove two more black T5 screws on the bottom of your phone. Once these two screws are removed, you're going to go ahead and pull the back housing touchscreen digitizer display away from the motherboard separating them. Now you can go ahead and remove the battery of your phone. Once the battery is removed, you're going to remove three more Torx 5 screws on the top, as well as two screws holding in a silver bracket on the bottom middle of your phone. The three, the three screws on the top hold in a white plastic casing. You're going to remove this white plastic casing after you remove these three screws. Next, you will need to disconnect, using a safe open pry tool, the volume ribbon cable, the power cable, as well as two more additional side cables you will see here. Next, you can carefully remove the motherboard from the phone. A lot of people decide to remove these little wires, which are coaxial cables, and disconnect them. I prefer leaving them on the board because I have had an issue once before where I actually ripped the coaxial cable. Finding this exact size coaxial cable is not an easy task, so I like to just leave them on the board and carefully remove them. You do not want these coaxial cables to rip. Because like I said, it is very, very hard to find replacement sizes that will match up. At this point, you can go ahead and disconnect this little flex cable right here. You just kind of pry it loose. Be very careful not to rip the flex cable when you're prying it loose. It is kind of wedged in there fairly well. Now you're going to release the motherboard from the bottom of the phone. Please be very careful with this. It is held in place with little clips, so it will take a little bit of prying to get loose. Next, you can choose to remove the speaker if you'd like to. I prefer to leave it in. Additionally, I didn't show this in the last step, but these two cables right here that you will see were actually plugged into your board. The bottom one was plugged under the motherboard, as shown right here. If you want to, you can disconnect that by flipping up on that jawbone connector to release it before pulling it out. And the top cable is held into the board as well. The bottom cable is your LCD cable. The top cable is your digitizer cable, and it plugs in right there.
To remove the touchscreen glass digitizer from the LCD, you are going to have to heat up the front panel. This will loosen up the adhesive holding in your touchscreen glass and LCD to the actual frame of your phone. Please note we have sped up this process significantly. It might take a good minute to actually properly heat up the phone. Be careful not to overheat it or you may burn the LCD. Once adequate heat has been applied, use a safe open pry tool and gently pull from the bottom of the phone, separating the glass from the housing. These three little spacers shown right here will need to be replaced back into the phone in that location so that the bottom of your phone lights up. Once the touchscreen has been adequately removed, you are going to need to pop the LCD out. Be very, very careful in this process if your LCD is not already broken. What I do recommend is possibly heating up the back of the housing assembly to kind of heat up the glue on the back of the LCD to help release it from your phone. There is adhesive on the back of the LCD. Since the LCD on this phone was already damaged, I kind of mishandled it and just pulled it out, which may have actually broken the LCD if it had not already been broken of course but once again if your LCD is perfectly working fine and you do not intend to replace it be very careful during this process to carefully pry it out without breaking Where I point right here is actually where a lot of the LCD adhesive is. So you want to go ahead and try and heat up the sides of the back housing around that area because that's exactly where the adhesive is holding your LCD in place. Once this has been separated, you can now go ahead and replace your touchscreen glass and or digitizer LCD panel. Please make sure to visit us at InjuredGadgets.com.